Hi, welcome back friends. This is Abby from Adventurous Advocates and you're joining me at Animal Kingdom today. Get ready to have a wild adventure. I'm so excited you're here. Let's go shopping and have some fun. When you first come into Animal Kingdom, you will see the incredible Tree of Life. There are over 300 animals carved into this tree, and they do an incredible light show where they have the different animals come to life, and they tell different stories using lights all on the trunk of the tree. So it is definitely worth seeing. And the great thing is, is it's all flat. There's no stairs leading up to this tree. You can just roll right up or sit right down and there's enough space in the courtyard that if you don't if you have a difficult time being crowded around other people you can distance out and space out if you have a child with autism or um, another unique uh, need that they prefer to be distanced you can see this show very well from anywhere in this courtyard so that is one of the cooler things now look how intricate these incredible wood animals are that is just amazing detail and it is one of the really incredible things about Animal Kingdom. The theming here is on point. They go out of their way to make everything feel realistic and authentic and they make every section well themed to the world you're in. Let's check out Discovery Trading Company. This is super fun. It's a section dedicated to mom. It's pink. They've got many ears but I absolutely love the Celebrate Mom sign. Like I feel like I need this for Mother's Day, it's awesome. Because it's me, I have to check out the Stitch merch. And these are so fun. There's a little purse right there. Let's see how much the purse is. Let's see. It is hiding from me. It is $24.99. I expected that to be so much more. Oh, that's fun. Because if you consider that the lounge flies are 80, that's actually an incredible deal. And these little, these little purses over here are fun. That would be great for your camera or just keeping your passes in your little snack. See, these are 40, so these are a super good deal. And these cute stick shirts right here make me wish I had kids this young again. My kids are a little older now, so they wouldn't fit into this, but look at that, it's incredible. If you're a fan of Mickey ears, Animal Kingdom definitely has you covered. The only thing I'm surprised at is that they do not have as many animal related ones. They do over there have some that are related to um, the Flower and Garden Festival in the end, but they don't actually have any like Simba ears that I've seen in the past or um, Animal Kingdom specifically themed ears. But it still is a lot that of That is unless you count the leopard print Mickey ears and mini ears. I love this. So they are $29.99 and they are loads of fun. You can put these on and ride the Kilimanjaro Safari and wave at the cheetahs when you see them. So fun. Let's check out these hats. I don't know whether you've got a favorite character or not, but they have almost every animal based character or monster or avatar character that you can imagine here. Let's see. I love the ones with phrases. Oh, I've just met you and I love you. I need that. Let's see, and there's a Beauty and the Beast. My daughter would absolutely love that. But I have to say, out of all of them, my favorite, all time favorite is Stitch. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at the hats and see how much they cost. Currently, the hats are $29.99. And it looks like they are all the same price, but I mean, can you, that's actually a pretty good deal on a hat here, especially I've seen them as high as $39.99 and for the specialty bucket hats, they're more, so that's not a bad price. Oh my goodness. I just saw a Star Wars hat. Look at that. Isn't that fun? All right, Star Wars fans. If you love baby Yoda, does Animal Kingdom have you covered? These are adorable and they are only $24.99. They also have the child wanted poster puzzles. They have some pew pew mugs, and that is super fun. They also have a Mando shirt. Let's check out what else. If you like TIE Fighters and Star Wars and simple attire, you might like this. I think it would be nice for um, someone who likes to dress kind of a little more simply and they don't want to have a bunch of graphics. They'll be a little bit classy. It's fun. 
then there's an R2-D2 mug. But if your kids love Star Wars or the Mandalorian series, this is absolutely adorable. It's the child who can ride around on your head via a headband. And I think that's super fun. There's also a hat where you put your head in the top and the arms drape around your shoulder. And then we've got some other fun shirts over there. We also have the Grogu action figure that has four functions. He eats, he plays with his ball. And then they have these collectible action figures. So if you are visually impaired and need help navigating the parks for $25 a day, the guest relations at the front of the park uh, will rent you a device that will be able to speak to you at various areas of the park to let you know where you are, a little bit about that section, and how to find different shops and attractions within that area. And so that can help you with wayfinding, but unfortunately, Shopping and ride um, assistance for uh, individuals who are mute or deaf or have different limitations have significantly been reduced since COVID. They no longer keep paper and pen. Uh, they no longer have uh, ASL translators available at the shops. Now they are on certain rides and shows, but they do not have them in the shops. And so the best bet you have is to go in straight to the main guest relations area and they can assist you from there. They do have special things that they can do there that they cannot do at the tents or in the main shops. And so if you have a unique need and you're concerned about being able to communicate or facilitate a transaction with buying something, you do need to stop in at the main guest services uh, and let them know your needs or concerns. And they can accommodate a lot of things if they know ahead of time. But uh, because of COVID and all the limitation of staff and limitation of various funding issues, and things coming up systematically instead of everything coming back at once. They no longer have an ASL expert in every section. Um, and so it is really important that you check in and find out what your options are as far as resources with the main guest services building. All right, all you up fans. Occasionally in the park, she'll stumble across some magic. And this is Kevin from Up. Isn't that awesome? He's interacting with the crowd, popping bubbles. So fun. I love moments like this. You could just be walking along and all of a sudden a character from one of your favorite movies strolls by and interacts with everyone. If you love the safari, you might love getting a painted dog or picking up some clothing that reminds you of your adventure. But definitely pick up an explorer hat. Those are super fun. One of the new things I hadn't seen before was all the plants. They have them in Pandora that are unique and kind of alien looking, and they have them here in Africa that are native to the African climate and the ones that would grow well in drier and hotter climate. So that's a lot of fun as well. So check out H Land and see what kind of plant life they're selling if you're into gardening. In Africa, a lot of the shopping has to do with the Lion King, Hakuna Matata. They have some super fun merch that is perfect. If any of you love to sing along with The Lion King or just it happens to be your favorite foam. Looks like they've got phone cases. Uh, they've got beach towels for $29.99. Have more of the leopard print Mickey ears. I love that spirit jersey. One day, one day I will get that spirit jersey. They do have sizes that go up to 3X but no higher than 3X. Unfortunately, they do not carry a lot of 3X. So if you need a 1, 2, or 3X, then you will want to get it when it first comes out. Otherwise, they may not have your size, but they do actually carry up to 3X. If you do not find your size, you can go on Shop Disney. Not all of the park merch is on there, but some of it, and it is worth a check. Just outside of Africa, there is this amazing outside decoration shop and they are actually a third party so you can go on there you can get one of their business cards and go on their website and if you love their stuff they'll customize it and you can order what you want without having to carry it around the park they were very nice when i spoke to them and i think that's kind of cool that you know you don't always have to purchase and lug it around the park or have them take it to the front so you can pick it up at the end sometimes you can go you can find something cool at the park 
can go online and order it at your convenience. So that's kind of one of the things I absolutely love about shopping in Africa is the amazing jewelry. Now look at this amazing individual making the jewelry. She is so incredibly talented. Can you imagine making all of this by hand? And she sits out here day and night and she just shows people how cool and fun she When you see the floating mountains, you know you've reached Avatar Land. And for all of you who love the movie Avatar, you are in for a treat. This place glows up luminescent at night. They have some incredibly themed shopping. The Flight of Passage Ride and the River of Navi Ride. This land has it all. It is a lot of, it's a lot to enjoy. Check out some of the merch at the Wind Traders. They, here you can make your own avatar. You can make a boy, a girl, or young, or a little older. So you have lots of options in that. And they have amazing theming outside and inside this place. Let's check it out. Here we go. All right. They have a lot of the Navi tails. They have the toy weapons. And the incredible Navi animals. And these are actually examples of the type of uh, Navis that you can make. They will actually scan your face and customize it based on how you look. So that's fun. Okay. If you're a fan of the Banshees, they have some Banshees with roaring action. Some Banshee and different animal figures that you could take home. Mm -hmm. and that is a utility suit that they use in the Avatar movies. So the Avatar store is actually really, really big. And the ceiling looks authentic to the movie. They have theming throughout. Now it's really awesome. I love those. Those glow. They're walking sticks themed to the movie and they do glow. So some people just use them as staffs, but you kind of have to watch the kids swing them around because Sometimes they will bot people, so you kind of have to be careful if you buy one of those. If you enjoy the graphics, they do have lithographs and a little bit more collectible items, as well as windbreakers with scenes from the movies. And if you're a coin collector, they do have a press penny collection. Thomas, here is the Pandora vegetation table. They have all sorts of plants that you can buy and grow in your yard that look just about as alien as you can get but they are very much like plants and you can purchase them. They'll take them for you up front so you don't have to worry about damaging them while you're on your way around the park. They are for treats. You might want to check out this section. They have blue popcorn that tastes incredible for $6.99 and they have Rice Krispie treats covered in chocolate with really fun egg designs. Got some new friends here. Can you tell me your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, where are you from? Ottawa, Canada. Oh, that's awesome. Can you tell me three good things that happened to you today? Oh my God, my son went on his first 3D flying ride. It was oh, amazing. That sounds so fun. And the show, the Lion King show, was incredible. Oh, that show is cry. really <laughs> fun and it's very immersive. Yeah, this is my first time as a mom bringing my kids here. So. Oh, that's awesome. What's your third thing? Third thing is the food. You love the food. What's oh, your favorite? So far, that drink, the lemon with the bobas in it. The lemonade. What's it called? The sunrise. Was amazing. We will all have to go check it out. That will be absolutely incredible. So, how have you how have you found riding around on ECV here at the parks? Pretty good. I'm surprised. It's hard to maneuver at times, but have you had difficulty getting in and out of the stores at all? No, I find that they've actually kept things pretty good, like spaced apart. I, I was afraid of that. There was a couple times where I'd leave it and then I kind of try to hobble through the crew. And then I was like, oh, okay. So then maneuvering it seems to be, they seem to be pretty good at keeping everything uh, Well, thank you so much for from. taking the time to talk to us. I'm just so grateful for you. And it's so nice to meet you. And I'm really glad you're having a good day at the park. Yeah, I hope you too. I had quite the adventure today. I've really enjoyed checking out the shops with you and exploring disability services associated with shopping. And I hope you you've had as much fun as I have. Until next time, stay adventurous.